The Cuphead Show is a new Netflix animated series based on the game Cuphead, Don't Deal With The Devil, released in 2017. This indie run-and-gun game by Studio MDHR is well known for its detailed hand-drawn animation. Its style, artwork, and sound taking a lot of inspiration from early 1930s, 1920s cartoons like Popeye the Sailor Man, Betty Boop, or even early Disney cartoons. Now with a game based on early cartoons, it naturally made for a natural adaptation into a cartoon itself. Which is where we get the Cuphead show, which consists of about 12 episodes, each about 15 minutes long, detailing the misadventures of the brothers Cuphead and Mugman. Cuphead and Mugman feel like a mixture between Mario and Luigi and Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. In fact, even in the first episode, you get a real good hint about the Tom Sawyer connection where they're whitewashing a fence. The series doesn't have a very strong story throughout it, it's very episodic. It feels a lot like a Saturday morning cartoon back from when I was a kid, but styled to look like the rubber hose animation style of Fleischer Studios, while also having just some really, really beautiful modern animation. You can tell the studio behind all of this Lighthouse Studios took really great care to recreate this kind of feeling as best as they could. They also mix in some other techniques like some rotoscoping, some 3D movement of the camera, and some stop motion animation in there. If you're a fan of the game and you're expecting some sort of adaptation, then I'm sorry to burst your bubble, that's not really what you're gonna get. The show is interesting because it leans very much towards being you know, just for general audiences, available for the entire fan. It's a show that anyone can watch, anyone who hasn't played the game, anyone who doesn't even know what the game is. It's for kids. And in that, some of the stories and some of the gags aren't always the most inventive, in my opinion. Some of the jokes, while funny, aren't things that I haven't seen before or seen executed better in other places. And with that, I can't really praise its writing that much because... It's, it's good. It's good. It's entertaining. I enjoyed it. I really appreciate the animation. I love the references to Fleischer Animation Studios that I saw in there. Like, there's a whole thing about the skeleton dance that, you know, I really appreciate moments like that. We're like, hey, I recognize this. I, I like the Popeye shows. I, I, I love the, the Betty Boop cartoons, you know? And there's like all these different designs and different, you know, creatures and monsters and, you know, bosses from the game come in into the show as like characters. And it's fun. It's a fun show. But I feel like in a few weeks, I'm going to forget most of what I really saw here. There's nothing that I think is gonna stick with me that long. I do really like the adaptation of our main characters here, Cuphead and Mugman. They give Cuphead especially a very New York newsy kind of accent where he sounds like a wise Kraken, you know, no good Nick. He sounds like a wise guy is up to no good and I, I love that kind of feeling you get just from his voice. Mugman has a similar accent. It's a little toned back, but it's still there and I think they work really well like that. Other characters have a more transatlantic accent, you know, they feel like they're all in this, you know, 30s, 40s, you know, East Coast America aesthetic. I love all of that, and watching through this series didn't take very long, it was nice, it was chill, it was just, you know, some nice to vibe to. I don't see any problems or glaring weaknesses in it, except maybe if you're expecting a more, you know, story-driven, you know, show, this is not going to be very story-driven. There's a two-part episode in there at one point, and you know, the, the season ends off on a 2B continued, which not even going to get into why, but, but overall, the show is mainly about Cophead and Mugman getting in a wacky misadventures. So don't go into this series expecting you're gonna get like a Castlevania adaptation of a story where you're gonna get a beginning, middle, and end. It's more of a Saturday morning cartoon, which I think fits the vibe of the entire aesthetic of the 30s, 40s cartoon era. And I think this is something that's really gonna appeal to a lot of kids, you know? It's it's fun. It's, it's silly. But the last thing I really want to mention here is that there is a bit of controversy around Cuphead. Now, Netflix announced that there's a Cuphead season 2 coming out. You know, season 2 get excited they they had it for two seasons but you know they didn't actually renew it for a second season this isn't really a second season so netflix is doing something a little sneaky here so if someone tells you that this is a season two no it's not this is part of the same batch of episodes that were ordered to begin with all of these episodes were ordered at the same time as part of one season. What's been put out now is the first half of season one, and what's going to come out later is the second half of season one. They can call it a season two in marketing, but that's actually a season one. And the reason this is, as a lot of animators on Twitter are pointing out right now, as they've been unionizing and, you know, growing more awareness for animators' rights and animator pay, is that when you have a season two, the pay for everyone on staff goes up. Because, you know, you're being rewarded with a second season, obviously you're, you're due for 
for a pay raise because you made a successful show. But Netflix isn't paying them like this is a second season. This is all one season to them. There's no pay increase that occurs because of the second season coming out. Because they didn't order another batch of episodes. They didn't have people creating more episodes for this. This is all part of the same ordering batch. Which, hey, you could say, oh, that's, you know, that's just how the industry works. It's fine. It's just how things go. Netflix is not as been known for doing this. They've done it, you know, previous times before. They did it with Volt Tron all the way back in the day. And yeah, that's true. They did do it then. And they have done it before. They do it. it it's... It, this isn't the first time they've done this. But right now with the organizing that's going on, it's pretty important to mention that animators are underpaid and underappreciated for their work. This is true in the West, it's especially true in Japan and in South Korea. Animators just are not treated fairly. And if you enjoy their work, you should want to see these people be paid. Because with a successful show, there's a whole lot of money going to the studios, to the platforms. Netflix is making a killing off of this stuff. Who's not making a killing is the people putting in the actual work. What can really be done about this? I, I don't I don't know. Demand that they actually just be honest with what they're putting out. This isn't a second season. This is just one ordered season that's been split in two and called the second season because that's what they wanted to do. So, you know what? Whatever. Hopefully it does really well and the animators do get a second season, an actual second season, and do get a pay raise because these people at Lighthouse Studios deserve it. They kicked ass on this show. In the end, this is a really fun show. Really unfortunate about the business practices that Netflix is employing not to pay the animators and staff behind this what they really deserve for this second season that's coming out, but people will try to fuck over their animators as much as possible. This is not just one platform doing this. The villain is the industry. The villain is the bosses that, you know, keep their workers down. This isn't even true just for animators. This is for everyone. But I'm starting to lose my voice right now, so we're not going to get into that whole thing. It's just, you know, support unionization. Think about unionizing your own workplace and, you know, think about getting paid for what you deserve. You know, that's just, that's important in times like this. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Cuphead or, you know, what you think about it compared to the game. I don't know. Just tell me what you think. I've got a whole bunch of videos coming out soon. Really going to be working on a Ranking of Kings. I think it's going to be the next major one I'm going to work on. Um, also seeing the Jujutsu Kaisen movie coming out here. So I'm really excited for that. Probably going to do a video on it. We'll see. Be sure to like this video if you like it. Subscribe for more videos from me and you have a great day, a great night, or whatever it is you're having. And stay rad.